ringside. We are getting ready for the opening contest of this new season of NGW British Wrestling Weekly. Dave Bradshaw here alongside former British heavyweight champion Alex Shane. And Alex, we're about to see tag team action on their way to the ring. Two men who were part of the defeated team control in team warfare, The Proven. Taz Crash and Sam Wilder kick things off here on this brand new season of NGW British Wrestling Weekly. This is going to be good. You know, for the proven, this is an opportunity, or really a necessity, to reinvent themselves. Having been protected by Richie West and the control for so long, if you're Cash Crash, if you're Sam Wilder, what do you do now? What turn do you take next in your NGW career? Well, I said this is going to be good because when we saw that pre-match interview from both Liam Slater and Cash Crash of the Proven, you could see two men who were seeing this new season as an opportunity to shed baggage. Liam, the baggage of that war with Joe Connors and the Proven, the baggage of, dare I say, Richie West, the managing director of NGW. To be honest, it feels really weird seeing them out here without Richie West. Well, this crowd certainly not fans of The Proven after all they've done in recent times as part of the control. But here are two men who our NGW fans certainly do like. The Mexican sensation, El Ligero, and his tag partner, Liam Slater. Slater and Leguero definitely look in a lot better condition than the last time we saw them because at the end of the last season at the hands of Screwface Lilith and Joseph Connors these two men were in a bad bad way and it's great to see them shed the skin and the shadow of Connors and come out here looking like they're ready for an incredible showdown. Yeah it's like you said a new start for the Proven also a new start for both Slater and El Leguero hoping to put those battles of the past behind them. But even though you're seeing a smile on the face of Liam Slater and of El Ligero here, you've got to think, I'm not sure they have put that behind them. Screwface and Connors and Lilith, still an ever lingering threat for both of these guys as we enter this new season. And you know, as we talk about this new season, one man who is really, really grabbed national and international headlines with his involvement in NGW, we have to mention him, Mark the Beast Lebec, one of the most famous TV stars here in England, star of the TV show on ITV, The Chase. Mark the Beast Lebec is the new executive producer of NGW British Wrestling Weekly, which means that he is the man in charge of whatever you see on your screen and in this ring. And one of the first things he asked for, Dave, was a brand new focus on NGW's tag team division. And that's exactly what you're seeing now. The proven, of course, an established tag team here in NGW. Slater and Ligero, although they've been friends for a long time, haven't tagged together quite as often. So it'll be interesting to see if that greater experience as a unit comes into play here, if that's an advantage for Kaz Crash and Sam Wilder as the bell rings. Slater and Crash, the two men you saw in that pre-match interview, are going to start things out here. And what a great expression of British wrestling's new generation than two men trained at the NGW Academy, Cass Crash and Liam Slater. Old-fashioned collar and elbow tie-up to start, neither man able to gain the advantage and we are back to square one. Packed crowd here at the whole City Hall, witnessing the revival of British professional wrestling on television after 30 years absence and it's great that you can join us as it comes into your home once again. Slater grabs a, a side headlock on Crash. Crash is trying to find a way out, and I think he's going to do so. Yes, he is. Counters into a headlock of his own, and these two trying to just see what each other's got, test out each other's mat wrestling ability here in the opening seconds of this tag team match. Fantastic young men. 
fantastic young talents and fantastic professional wrestling catch as catch can style once again it's refreshing I think from Slater's point of view for him to just be able to focus on the man across from him in the ring without having to worry at least in the short term about keeping an eye on Connors or on Lilith who have been tormenting him for a very very long time Waste lock attempts there. Liam comes back, ground position, drop kick, and a shoulder tackle. Sends Slater down. Snap mare. Slater rolls through. Cash Crash charges in for a snap mare of his own. Slater blocks and reverses. Cash Crash rolls through and a follow and elbow tight once again and a standoff. We're going to have to take a very short commercial break, Dave. Yeah, we'll be back. This tag team action continues here on NGW British Wrestling Weekly. When we come back, tag team action continues here at Hull City Hall on NGW British Wrestling Weekly. Kaz Crash from The Proven tagging in Sam Wilder and Liam Slater responding in kind. Here comes El Ligero. And now it will be very interesting to see El Ligero and how those ribs have recovered after what we saw at the hands of Joe Connors and Screwface. Who let me tell you, Dave, as much as they might want to get involved in this one, they're not going to want to upset Mark the Beast for a bet who's going to be watching backstage. Fast and Furious comes the action here. El Ligero with the... A cartwheel lands on his feet and attempted hip toss, both men countering each other. Great agility from both these guys. Off into the ropes for a roll up there. Leguero back onto his feet, sweeps the leg, drops down. Not even a one there. Oh, and the wow. Yeah, Wilder's going for one of his own and a double drop kick, both men back wow. to their feet. And a great passage of action there. And I'll tell you something, Dave, the proven you know, the new beginning I spoke about with this season goes exactly the same for The Proven. They have an opportunity to show British professional wrestling exactly what they're made of in that squared circle, which, to be frank, Dave, we haven't really seen in the last 18 months. Yeah, how are they going to fare without Richie West there when things have got difficult for The Proven in the past? West or some of their other buddies in the control have come out here and uh, turned things to the advantage of the Proven, but of course they don't have that advantage now because the control is no more. And Liam Slater and El Ligero, surprisingly so far, have used the better tag team strategy. Fast tags in and out and keeping that arm of Wilder isolated. Slater definitely with the upper hand here, and we talked about this before the break, but Slater has had a torrid time of it in the recent past with Joseph Connors as we heard from Slater earlier, Connor's seeming to have more interest in ruining Slater's career than advancing his own in recent times. And don't you think for a minute that either Slater or Ligero have forgotten about Joseph Connors? In fact, we've heard that Slater has requested a match with Screwface. El Ligero has requested a one-on-one -on -one match against Connors. Both Slater and Ligero, Alex, are trying to get these guys out of their lives so that they can focus on rising up the ladder here in NGW. Well, what they want to focus on now is the NGW Tag Team Division. And of course, the NGW Tag Team Champions are Team Insane Fight Club, who have taken the NGW Tag Team titles and almost made a mockery on international television of those belts. And that's what Mark Lebet's trying to change with these tag team matches. And look at this traditional British style wrestling from Slater. Dave, he has become an incredible in-ring talent, European style dropkick. And you're not just an incredible talent. Oh, hang on, he goes for a cover here to Slater, gets two, and Crash is going to escape that one. Not just an incredible in-ring talent is Slater, but just one of those guys in life you just want to root for, one of the real good human beings out there. And it really would be great if in this season of NGW, we saw Liam Slater finally achieve some really big things. Oh, ground position drop kick by El Liguero. Goes for a pin there on Cash Crash. Just the one. Yeah, same could be said of El Liguero, for that matter. Another guy who's had so much to deal with that feud with Dara Diablo and of course Connors and Screwface getting involved in Ligero's business as well recently. Here comes the Mexican sensation oh. but a big elbow into the face from Kaz Crash. Here's the ropes and a big boot to the face of the masked man and Kaz Crash is an explosive young talent. This guy and his tag team partner Sam Wilder have in many ways been overlooked. You know, they got paid their 30 pieces of silver by Richie West to be part of the control. But as we saw at the start of this show, team control is no more. Richie West has now been told that he will have to stay as the managing director behind the... S s hold on. Well, speak what? of the devil. Wow. And I do mean the devil. And he appeared. 
Well, that negates everything I was just going to say, Dave. But what's he doing out here, Foot? Because of the exact thing you just said, why is he here? Well, Richie West was told that as the managing director, which is his role, from now on he would deal with the day-to-day -day operations of running the business. And I don't understand why he's out here. It's like nothing's changed. You know, they lost that team warfare match. The control was supposed to disband. And yet here we are, another day, another situation where you've got Richie West in the corner of the control. Oh, look, even Sam Wilder looks confused. I mean, Richie West technically does still have a manager's license. But, well, this is a weird situation. I'm not sure Crash has even noticed that West is here. Liguero is uh, fighting to his feet, but Crash with another clubbing blow. And the, uh, the Proven, I should say, are very much in control and isolating Oliguero in their own corner. And listen to this crowd, a packed crowd here at the whole City Hall, as we always have for NGW Prius Wrestling Weekly. Sam Wilder there charges at Liguero, and I still can't get over, Dave, Richie West being at ringside. Yeah, you know, I think the crowd has got even louder in, su in their support of Oliguero and Liam Slater since West came out here. Definitely. Such is the hatred that NGW fans have for Richie West. Yeah, you're definitely right. You can really feel it in the air. This crowd hates Richie West. They thought that he was going to be no more as an on-screen presence, and here he is. But we all thought that. Well, I tell you what, somewhere Mark Lebet is not very happy. And I tell you, what we must mention as well, on next week's programme, you saw it here already on this show, we are going to see the next open invitational for the Davy Boy Smith Memorial Cup 2. Joe Coffey, Scotland's Iron Man, takes on Dave Mastiff, managed by Gilligan Gordon. That's coming up next week. Again, all part of the work of our new executive producer, Mark Lebet, who's supposed to be running the show. Oh. And that man, Richie West, is supposed to have nothing to do with it. Dave, did you see what happened there? Yeah, oh. he tripped him. A trip, a blatant trip. Vintage Richie West. Yeah, but it backfired. Cass Crash had a drop kick in mind, and Richie West may have actually just cost the proven. Look at this head of steam by Liam Slater up and down with a knee drop. Slater's going to go for the cover here. He's got the lateral press on Crash and he gets two, but the left shoulder goes up and this one continues. Can you believe what happened moments ago? Richie West tripping the leg of El Liguero, but accidentally meaning that Cash Crash drop kick landed him directly on his own face. I mean, that was definitely, definitely a bad move by Rich. Well, he deserved it, didn't he? He shouldn't be out here in the first place. Slater with the bridge. Look at this, another pin attempt. And again, Crash will escape. Crowd is getting riled up here. Getting behind El Ligero and Liam Slater. Slater will charge and there's no one home. Oh, leaping neck breaker textbook by Cash Crash. He either needs to make a cover or a tag, Dave. I don't think Crash has the energy to attempt the cover. He just needs these few seconds here to get his breath back sufficiently that he can even get to his own corner. And look at Richie West, he's definitely on the side of the Proven, but are they on his side? Oh, double tack, both men in. Well, Liguero and Sam Wilder, two fresh men here. They're going to battle this out, elbow from Liguero, he'll go to the ropes, and Wilder with an elbow of his own, takes down Liguero. That's what? a clothesline there, as Wilder and comes back with a flying clothesline of his own, and these two trading the big heavy hitting moves. What's he going for? A suplex here. And a, oh, what's... Hold on, hold Oh, oh, wow. oh my look, God. Oh, Liguero accidentally DDT'd his own partner. Impressive stuff from Wilder. He picks up deadlift into a brain buster. That could do it, you know. He landed on the back of his neck, did Liguero. There's two. And it was two and a half. Fisherman style brain buster by Sam Wilder. And you could tell right there that Sam Wilder thought he had this one won. And now the proven for the first time in this match, Dave, really looking like a formidable team. What's going on here? Oh, Cash Crash goes for a dive. A duck there, Sam Wilder over. Keep your eye on Cash Crash and all. Whoa, whoa. Look the synergy between Cash Crash and Sam Wilder there was remarkable. People are actually cheering the proven. My God, I've got to give them credit, Dave. That is some of the best tag team they've done in all the time they've been in an NGW. There's a running elbow from Sam Wilder. The double team action coming thick and fast here from the Proven. Oh, Ace Crusher into a delayed German suplex. Could that be all? And oh, just a, just a two, thanks to Slater. Yeah, desperation there, really, from Slater. The Proven have really turned this around in the oh. past minute or two, but Slater sends Crash to the outside. 
Wilder will do the same to Slater. No, the Slater will land on the apron, but we're down temporarily at least to Wilder and Liguero. Well, Sam Wilder hasn't seen Slater there, still in the apron. Liguero there with a chin breaker, takes a charge, goes over the top, and oh, look at the strength, the agility, the speed, and the skill of El Liguero using his tag team partner for leverage. Oh, reverse DDT. And Cash Crash charging in at Liguero. Liguero blocks and comes down. Incredible double teaming by the Mexican sensation. Yeah, Liguero lured him in. Cash Crash should have known better. But Liguero was able to take out both of the proven. And now to tag in Slater. The momentum shifting moment by moment in this tag team match. Slater now with the headbutts into the midsection of both men are running up a cut to crash one to Wilder as well and Slater and Liguero are cooking with gas here in Hull City Hall Oh Slater there schoolboy into a full Nelson face first slam oh my god oh, oh look at Liguero Mexican wave Dave is he going to hit the Mexican wave centre of the ring that's going to do it that's going to do it the leg is hurt and oh, oh Wilder Wilder got out of it wow just wow that was the move that Liguero used to beat British wrestling legend Jody Fleisch and Sam Wilder just kicked out. We've got to go to our last commercial break. The action continuing to come at a breathless pace in this tag team match here on NGW British Wrestling Weekly. El Liguero and Liam Slater going for a double suplex on Cat's Crash, but Sam Wilder blocking it. Wilder with the kick, oh my God, into the jaw oh, of Slater. Oh. And oh, Liguero hit his own partner by mistake. Oh, look at this teaming by the Proven. Oh, huge forearm there by Sam Wilder. Cash Crash sets the girl up for something. What's this? Brain Buster. Super kick. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the combination and, of those oh, strokes. Oh. West, West just sent Slater into the, into the replay. Out. Oh, the yeah. referee. There's no referee to make the cover. What, Dave, that's... I don't know how to feel about that because that's great refereeing, but it looks like Richie West is working on behalf of the Proven without their permission. Yeah, there's certainly some miscommunication going on because if West hadn't done that unnecessary cheap shot on Slater, oh. then the Proven might have won it just there. Cash crash to the outside. Oh, 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 C4L. Oh, and he hits it. He gets it. Liguero with the C4L. Sam Wilder is out cold. Can he? Liguero, oh. and he gets it. El Liguero and Liam Slater defeat the Proven. Incredible win for Liam Slater and El Liguero, but Dave. I have to give all the credit in the world to Cash Crash and Sam Wilder. And in my opinion, Richie West may have just cost them an incredible match here on television. I mean, the Proven looked like they had that one for a moment. Well, you know, regardless of your opinion or my opinion, I almost guarantee you that that will be their opinion. When Cash Crash and Sam Wilder go backstage, in their mind, they won that until Richie West ruined it for them. Well, if I was Screwface and the righteous Joseph Connors, I would be watching that backstage and being concerned because Slater and Leguero are in incredible, incredible in-ring shape. But what, oh, what's Richie West doing? He's in the ring and Cash Crash and Sam Wilder look very frustrated as they should be, Dave. Leguero and Slater enjoying the fact, of course, that Richie West, who shouldn't even be here, his interference backfiring in spectacular fashion. El Liguero and Liam Slater, as you say, Alex, a force to be reckoned with as they set their sights on Joseph Connors and on Screwface. Big, big win for these two tonight. Oh, and Richie West has a microphone, and maybe now we're going to get some explanation as to what the former manager of the control and the current managing director is doing here. 